focus on me. All right. How much for people? Today we're gonna be reacting to more Taylor Swift. I know you guys are really enjoying my Taylor Swift series on this channel. It's gonna be a long series, so get ready for that. But anyways, today we're gonna be reacting to two songs more from the uh, Evermore uh, album. Uh, how many times am I gonna say, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be reacting to Marjorie and Tolerate It, two songs that you guys have been boosting a lot in my comment section telling me that if I do continue the Evermore series, I need to react to these songs. I wanna promise you, after this video, we will react to all the songs at once that we have not reacted to yet. We started off with Cardigan and Willow, and then the last video we did No, No Time, No Face, No Crime and um, Champagne Problems, which I really enjoyed those two. And again, like I said, today we're gonna be doing Marjorie Tolerate It. So I don't really wanna make this intro too long, let's just get right into the music. If you're new here, subscribe, make sure you like the video so I know you enjoyed it. Let's get 900 likes on this video. And I just wanna say I'm really enjoying this series. I never thought I would be a fan of Taylor Swift. <sighs> But here I am, really enjoying her music so far. And another thing, I am definitely gonna go back and react to more of her discography, because like I said in the first reaction, I haven't listened to Taylor since like, I stay out too late. So yeah, I have a lot to catch up on and I hope you guys are ready to do it with me. Enough talking, subscribe, like this video, check out the Discord link below, check out the second channel, which is also linked below. I love that channel, so go over there if you haven't yet. And here we go into Marjorie first, and then we'll do Tolerate It. So, the name Marjorie is kind of like old timey, like 50s, so I feel like it's gonna be very, not jazzy, but sort of like a mix between indie and jazz. Let's see. I like the beat so far. Never be so clever, you forget to be kind. Huh. Never be so kind you forget to be clever. Never be so clever that you forget to be kind. I relate more so to the last part, definitely. But still, I think both are good resolutions to think about, just it, as a person. And also, I was right. Looking at the little video thing from Spotify, it's definitely like the 40s, 50s. Is that her mom, maybe? Taylor's mom? And if I didn't know better, talking to me now. I'm not gonna cry this video, I promise you, I'm not going to cry. But I, get, I just think it's, it's Taylor's tone every time she sings. Aside from this album just being very emotional and like the indie sound of it, it's, it's the way she sings. It's very soft and somber. Like it, even if you're not an emotional person, which I, w I wouldn't consider myself an emotional person or an expressive person that is, but yet listening to Taylor always brings it out of me. I hate it. Okay, what died didn't stay dead. This is why I need the lyrics, y'all. What died didn't stay dead. What died didn't stay dead. Be so polite, you forget your power. Ooh. Oh, I love these inner con like conflicts. And if I didn't know better, if I didn't know better. <laughs> One thing I have to say about the instrumental, it makes you feel like you are on a journey, like you're going somewhere, like you're desperate to get there. And then you like listen to the lyrics of the song and it seems like just like you're chasing something. You're like, you're just unsure and you're chasing clarity. <sighs> it's like making you feel restless, but calm at the same time. It's weird. Or at least it makes me feel that way. Oh no. Is she talking about her mom? I hope, is her, her, did her mom pass away? Oh my God, because the literal just frame of this is literally just this woman running to the car over and over again. Oh my God. Alexa, is Taylor Swift's mom dead? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, no. She's alive and attended the American Music Awards oh. recently. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. So, I, I, according to Alexa, Taylor Swift's mom is not dead. Let's move on. Mm, her rhythm here is good. Ah, oh, man. I should have kept a gr every grocery receipt because every scrap of you has been taken from me. Man, that's so sad. Like the last, you're really thinking about grocery receipts? Like that's your last itch to keep this person? Like that's the last thing of value you have to remember them by? Freaking grocery receipts, paper bitch. 
That's sad. I don't know who passed away or if this is like a real thing Taylor had to go through, but it, uh, this is terrible. Oh. But Di didn't stay dead. Okay, so Taylor has lost someone, but she's saying the memory of them has kept um, that person alive, but she wishes she had something more tangible to remember them by. Hence the receipts from the grocery store. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. In the last reaction I commented about how she does like this synth sort of echoiness in her songs, and she just did it there, the Like it just makes the song, I hate to use the word haunting because we are talking about someone who passed away, but it feels very eerie, very, I don't know, whimsical, ugh. This is Taylor Swift. What? <laughs> so that was Marjorie. It's the the only word that's really coming to my mind to just summarize the song is just beautiful. From her voice, literally she kept the same tone, which made the the feeling of the song just so consistent. The way she sang the lyrics, the lyrics themselves. How you could feel like the passion and the longing. I don't know the word for like m missing someone. Um, I, there's a hint of regret kind of there in the lyricism. And just the overall sound of the song was very melancholy, somber, slow, calming, comforting. The song was just beautiful. I really enjoyed Marjorie. I'm not certain that she's not talking about her mom. Alexa, what's Taylor Swift's mom's name? If she says Marjorie, I swear. Sorry, I don't know that. Bitch. Please don't be Marjorie. It's Andrea. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Next up, let's go to Tolerate It. That was beautiful, Marjorie. Two things Taylor Swift likes to use in her music for the instrumental. Pianos and guitars. I've noticed that. I sit and watch you. Okay, she's talking about how she sees this person, not just like, I don't think physically, but like emotionally, like she actually like genuinely really cares about this person. She watches them read books, she watches them sleep, she notices everything about them. So she cares about this person. Let's see how the relationship goes. It's a sad song, so I think it's going to end badly. God. <laughs> Ooh. I like that part. Her instrumentals, she's been, how many songs have you reacted to? This is the sixth one from the album. She's six for six on instrumentals. Table with the fancy-ish, watch you tolerate it. If it's all in my head, tell me now. I wonder if she's talking, who she's talking about. A part of me makes me feel like she's talking about herself, which I hope not because that would be really sad. But let's keep listening to find out. I know my love should be celebrated, tolerated. No, 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 no. I think she's talking about herself. I know my life should be celebrated, but I tolerate it. Oh God. That's a mind F, I can't curse because demonetization, but that's a mind F if I've ever seen one. Like literally everyone around you, the entire world is like, what are you talking about? What are you complaining about? You're literally rich, famous, beautiful, have a great voice, so talented. What are you crying about? What do you have to complain about? And I'm sure there's something. I hope she's not actually talking about herself and I'm interpreting this wrong, but I think she's talking about herself. Oh God. Take your indiscretion, This part gets me every time. Ugh, you're so much older and wiser. Is she talking from the perspective of her younger self? I don't know, but I'm overwhelmed every time that she does this. That part, I don't know what it is, but it's like overwhelming. That's the best way I can tolerate it is overwhelming. Mm. 
Mm. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not going to. Man. <laughs> Oh God. Oh my God. What the heck? <sighs> oh. Man. Tolerate it. Man. This, the sound is so beautiful. This entire album, like this is really an entire album of just bomb songs. Wow. Was that man Ooh. Ouch. That sucks. So this dude went from caring about you to where the point where he threw blankets over barbed wire and now you have to wait to hear just like a little quick text, a little footnote about what's going on in his life just to keep up. Like you want more than that, but that's he's barely giving you any part of him anymore. That's sad. Taking up too much space of time. Mm. like two have like big ideas going on in my head right now about what's going on in the song part of me just wants to rave about taylor's vocals like how can she sing so good like this it sounds so effortless so clean usually for artists i would say like this monotone like no inflection no deflection just consistency in it is after a while would get boring but with taylor it's just like comfort it's so weird and also like the story of the song itself like she is prepared to lose herself in you, like literally ready to do that, and you can't even give her the time of the day. <sighs> Tolerated is a lot. Huh, okay, she's not talking about herself and like her life. She said, I know my love should be celebrated, but you tolerate it. Like, this dude doesn't want her anymore. But at the same time, Taylor, if you know that, then leave. Like, you just said you know your love should be tolerated, so if you're not getting what you deserve, what you know you deserve, you're, you know your self-worth, get out of the situation. Because homie doesn't deserve you. And that goes out to everybody watching the video. If you're not getting the love or appreciation you deserve, get out. Is that the end of the song? Oh crap, that's the end. Man, okay, so that was Marjorie and Tolerate It. Marjorie, I'm still not sure what was going on with the story. Who is Marjorie? Man, I feel like if it is someone personal to Taylor, that song would just hit even deeper. So someone fill me in on that. Tolerate It. I was kind of going back and forth on what I was understanding with the song, but overall, again, the song was just overwhelming. It almost got me crying a few times there, but I kept it together. Good job, Favor. But yeah. Hmm. So far, though, my favorite songs from uh, Evermore are still Cardigan, Willow, and No No Face, No Crime. Because No Face, No Crime was a trip. That was a journey. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, the next video for Taylor Swift will be me reacting to the entire rest of the album that we haven't already reacted to. And then I think we're going to go back to the very beginning of the discography and react to all of it. So I hope you guys are excited for the journey because I definitely am. Like this video if you haven't yet. Let's get 900 likes on this video. Let's see if you guys can do that. Uh, subscribe to the second channel, which is linked down below. Check out the Discord. Follow me on Instagram. And DM me your video requests or tweet them at me on Twitter. I'm open to them all. So yeah. Bye. I really got to start doing my outros in focus. I'm Sweetener may have to come down, y'all. Because, like, the camera's always focusing on Ari instead of me. I'm salty. Bye.